time. Um, styling the Viper has been a fun project. Of course, we were doing 19 vehicles during this time, so it wasn't exactly the priority, but it wasn't too hard to find some designers to find a little extra time to style this vehicle. And you can see the inspiration came from the snake and the human body. So we really spent a lot of time, if you look at the vehicle, it's got a lot of beautiful details. And for the first time, the Viper will be launched with two models. As you know, we have a very, very focused community that likes the hardcore Viper. So we'll offer it in the SRT GTS version, which will be the kind of the upscale, a lot of options, power seats, premium audio, all leather interior, and also a version called the SRT Viper. A little more flamboyant on the outside with a very dedicated hood, a little uh, back to basics approach. So there'll be, we'll be more information on that in the future, but very, a way to take care of the spectrum of owners that we have. Um, the, the front end, I hope you notice right away, it's a bike, right? But it has this new stair, a lot of technology, the headlamps, the LED headlamps, uh, really give it a look, literally styled around the eyes of a snake. I'll just show you some pictures, we've got to hurry up on time here, but beautiful lines, the plan view. You can see the, the, the care and love and attention went into this vehicle. And uh, I can't tell you how many post-it notes I left on the clay. We really <laughs> made the lives quite hard of our designers, but I think they had a really good time working on this project. So I'll just go through this. Show you the details. So we really had a lot of fun on this. So next, I want to talk about the fact that the car. I know there's a, a team at Connor right now watching this. So hats off to you. The, the Connor assembly has been. Uh, thank you. The Connor assembly is, is back in business. Here's a plant that was shut down for almost two years. The the workers that will be assembling the Viper are actually reconditioning the plant. So world class manufacturing has come to Connor assembly. So. Hats off to you. So I want to talk about the R in street racing technology, and that's racing. So we've always loved racing, and it's in our blood, it's in our name. Right, so we've been, uh, you know, as you know, we have quite a storied past in this world. We've, we've had a lot of championships with Viper, uh, many world titles, as you can see over there. So we approached a company uh, called uh, Microsoft that owns Forza video games. So if we can't afford to go racing for real, at least we can do it virtually. So the car will debut also in the Forza video game, so a lot of people can drive the car virtually. So there it is. So I want, they could, they're the first company to take a test drive of the Viper. I want to show you the video they put together. Check it out. together by thousands and thousands of people. That's the Viper team right there. Without them, this wouldn't happen, so that's off and respect. Thank you, everybody. Thank you! Ladies and gentlemen, will you please hold for just a moment for press photography. And now we would like to invite the SRT team members to come to the stage for a brief photo. Thanks. Because Forza had a 